Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So the Dev Channel Insiders also received a new build yesterday on the 31st of August, build 23536. Now this week the Dev Channel Insiders don't get any new features. But there are fixes that are rolling out. So basically this is a bug fix update. Now over and above fixes for the taskbar, live captions, input settings and task manager. It still seems that Microsoft has a bit of work to do regarding Windows Copilot which is going to be bringing centralized AI, artificial intelligence, to the Windows 11 desktop. And Copilot, just to do a quick recap, uh, is a web container with Bing Chat. And um, it's very similar to Bing Chat, but over and above having conversations with the chatbot and asking it complex questions and all of that, uh, you'll be able to ask it to change settings eventually with Windows 11. So as an example, you'll be able to ask Copilot to change your a system theme from light to dark mode and vice versa and so on. Now, this week they fixed a annoying issue. And this is the reason why I think there's still a bit of work to do on Copilot because the issue was causing the Windows Copilot icon uh, in the taskbar to be flipped backwards for right to left languages. So Copilot gets a taskbar icon as mentioned and if you click on that, it opens up the web container. And those right to left languages, uh, just to give you some examples, would be languages like Arabic, Hebrew, Persian, and so on. So that was an annoying bug that was affecting um, insiders in the Dev Channel using those right, right to left languages. So that has been addressed. Now moving on to why I think there's a bit of work to do, because there are known issues. And two of the known issues are regarding Windows Copilot, where... Microsoft says you can use Alt and Tab to switch out of Windows Copilot, but not back into it. So basically, that's a known issue that still has to be resolved. And Windows and C on your keyboard will move focus back to Windows Copilot. So that's the first known issue. And then the second known issue for Windows Copilot is when first launching or after refreshing Copilot while using voice access, you'll need to use show grid commands to click in the Ask Me Anything box. So that's the Ask Me Anything box. That's part of the web container. Um, so you'll need to use show grid commands to click in the Ask Anything box for the first time. So those are two known issues. So as mentioned, they've just fixed a so-called annoying issue um, with that taskbar icon, and there are still another two known issues that have to be sorted out. So clearly a little bit of work to do. And Copilot is expected to roll out with the 23H2 feature update. So obviously we hope that Microsoft does sort those issues out before it is released with 23H2. But nonetheless, as mentioned, no new features for the Dev Channel this week. A whole lot of fixes and then an important fix for Copilot, as mentioned, and two known issues which have to be resolved. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.